So, Jerome, you consider yourself an entrepreneur, okay, uh, and a leader. How do you define entrepreneur for yourself? I would say that I define entrepreneurship as a way to build something in society that's not present and something that we need. And I think that in, in my case of being an entrepreneur and building a virtuality organization, um, called Tal VR, and also um, built, um, actually starting a, bo a youth voting organization called One Million of Us. I think that entrepreneurship is the idea of creating something that society has not changed, and, and entrepreneurship is saying that we're going to fix those problems, and we're going to create a system that will fix those injustices that we've grown up in, and that through the ways of virtuality, we're engaging people, like you said, for kinesthetic learners. With virtuality, you're able to put on a headset and learn about algebra, and learn about these, these abstract concepts, but if you put them in virtuality, able to learn about that. Oh, welcome back to Thank you so much for, for joining us. You, you know, um, people will look at you, not me, of course. I, I, I think race gets too much credit and too much attention. Uh, I love what Jerome was expressing about finding what the marketplace lacks and bring it to bear. You know, I love that. So in your exploration, Jerome, what have you found that is lacking in the marketplace that entrepreneurs such as yourself and your colleagues have the potential to bring to bear? So I'll say that what the marketplace and beyond the marketplace of society lacks is that when, as for my case, when I was going to high school, I was supported by an organization called XQ America, and they allowed me to build virtuality systems and build something that society was lacking in, which was te um, technology and young people. And as I progressed, I had um, support systems that were there, and there were support systems that, such as um, such as Icon, and such as World Series of Entrepreneurship, that nourished that and mentored me to be able to be able to understand how. Marketplace is not the only way to find solutions, but society, you can use the power of society to change these these things that aren't, we don't see in society. So we don't see, like in politics, the moral clarity that politicians should have when they're talking about moral issues. So that's why when I, when World Series of Entrepreneurship, um, when I won the World Series of Entrepreneurship, they allowed me to be able to go to Princeton, they allowed me to study at Harvard University, and to go to Iceland with National Geographic, and to study at Harvard, and to study at Harvard um, Environmental Law and Calculus too. And that provided me with the ability to be able to say that the marketplace isn't the only way to solve problems, that we need to actually have a uh, mobilization of young people at the polls to make sure that they are solving racial injustice, gender equality, um, gun violence, climate change, and immigration reform, because there are five major movements in America that young people care about. So that's how we need to fix society, not just looking to the markets to solve moral issues, but looking to America's youth to see that we are 100% of the future, so we must invest 100% in them. And that's what one million of us, like the organization that I have started, is that we need to empower young people and teach them about the importance and the importance of their vote and the importance of their vote. And saying that we can't just go to marches and go to strikes, but if today we strike, tomorrow we have to vote. And that's what we're doing. Today is the time that we vote.